Well, hello. On this Friday, we Harder from the TND with you. Uh, big day in Orangeburg County, New York Orangeburg County Library on Russell Street. Cutting the ribbon on it this morning. Uh, we're going to be bringing you full coverage on that, both at the TND.com as well as in print uh, for Saturday's edition. We are also today reporting on the SC Attorney General's office is planning to continue its pursuit of the death penalty against an Orangeburg County suspect who uh, some years ago killed two people in Orangeburg County, but has since seen his death row or death sentence um, turned away by an appeals court. Uh, there, again, the AG is going to pursue efforts to, to re reinstate the death penalty there. Uh, Governor McMaster announced yesterday he wants to use COVID uh, money for to improve rural water systems. Um, that uh, certainly would impact rural areas uh, such as Orangeburg County. Uh, also of note, uh, the Emanuel 9 uh, from Emanuel AME Church in um, Charleston, back from the Dillon Roof um, uh, tragedy, whatever you can call it, so many things. The settlement has been reached between uh, the Emanuel 9 survivors and and their families, of course, and the federal government for $88 million. That if the lawsuit involved um, failure of the background checks to, to stop Dylan Roof from getting the gun that sparked that in which he used in all the carnage. Anyway, carnage also, uh, highway deaths. Uh, today we're writing editorially about the need again for another weekend, in other words, another deadly weekend. South Carolina has been looking at about nine or 10 traffic deaths a week, uh, a weekend, excuse. Uh, and in Orangeburg County right now, we have 40 traffic deaths for the year so far. That compares to 27 last year, which is horrific enough. Um, it's just certainly worthy of note that every measure of caution is needed. Over in sports, a lot's going on. Uh, we covered the touchdown club yesterday with the Benedict coach speaking. You'll want to take a look at that. The Braves are in Atlanta for the World Series, three games in a row, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, all on at shortly after eight on Fox. And over in uh, Air, near Earhart tonight, uh, big football game between Holly Hill Academy and Andrew Jackson Academy, both undefeated. Uh, that's, a, that's one of the highlights of a full night of high school football. You can find everything about it tomorrow morning at the tnd.com. Pick up a print edition as well. You're going you're gonna to have coverage there. Uh, we want you to have a great weekend. Uh, again, it's a, of course, we got a lot of college football this weekend. Clemson playing, SC State playing, Carolina is on a bye. All right, have a good weekend.